All right, guys, just wanted to do a quick video, potentially save someone else a lot of time. Uh, this is a John Deere 345 with a 42 inch snowblower. I picked this up over the summer because I moved. I have a lot more driveway to clear. Wanted to be ready for winter. Uh, but I went to mount this thing up and I'm like, what the heck? I, there's, seems like I'm missing parts or, you know, my tractor is not equivalent or uh, compatible with this thing. So here's kind of the story. Here's what you need to know. Number one, you need to find out, confirm that the model snowblower that you're purchasing is equivalent or rather compatible with the garden tractor that you have. Let me just show you exactly what I have in case you want to make sure we're talking apples to apples. Uh, this is the John Deere 345. It was made in 10 of 96. Uh, here's the engine number, the FD590V. And I'll, let me show you the serial number of the snowblower. So these units are compatible, obviously. Uh, but again, when I went to mount this thing up, it was became obvious very quickly that uh, the machine was missing components. So here's what you need to check for. Let me go around to the other side. There's my pup taking a nap. So go down here and you look for this kind of angled mount and make sure you have a black shaft sticking out of it. If there's just a hole here, which is the case, uh, was the case on my machine, it means that your tractor doesn't have the lift kit installed, which is uh, absolutely essential for this snowblower. Fortunately, the machine I bought, or the attachment I bought, the guy was the original owner, and he gave me the operator's manual. So, and again, you can see all the different models that are that'll work with this snowblower right here. But you go in, and this will tell you the part number for the lift kit you need. There it is for the 325 and the 345. Unfortunately, if you look this up online or call a dealer, they're going to tell you that it's it's a discontinued kit. Uh, I looked at looked on eBay. I looked at you know other aftermarket places, and I could not find this thing anywhere. Uh, Deer told me to call this Lindsay Equipment. That was a John Deere dealer in Pennsylvania, and the guy you could kind of. <laughs> You know, I was on the phone with him, but you can picture him rolling his eyes when I called. He's like, yeah, we got to get the inventory fixed <laughs> because we don't have this part. I got a feeling that someone calls him looking for it every day. So I asked him what I should do, and he said I should just order all the components individually. So if you go to John Deere's parts website, type in this number, BM18126, it's going to give you this schematic. So there's the lift kit. There's all the components. That's what you need to get this baby installed. Uh, this stuff all has to be installed from the from underneath the tractor. So I put my machine up, put it on the back tires up on ramps, and I put the front up on blocks to get it off the floor. That made it a lot easier. Uh, the things are actually really simple to install, and it's just basically these these clips hold it on. I'll show you. Give me a snapshot. There you go. Very simple to install. It, it's a lot easier. What you're probably going to have to do is take the body panels off. Uh, like there's my center piece, kind of my center cover. I also took the back off. I replaced the drive belt too while I was in there. But I'm digressing a little bit. Uh, once that's installed, let me go back to the schematic. This front hole right there and then this one, that is where your snowblower actually mounts to the machine. I'll try to get a picture of that. It's a little dark under there, but you can kind of see the adjustment. That's where it clips in, and that's where your machine uh, lifts up and down. Once you got the lift kit installed, you just, you know, raise and lower with your standard hydraulics that you use on your mower deck. So, the lift kit is essential. The other thing that was a big mystery to me, I kept, I was digging around on different forums and looking at pictures, trying to figure out for the life of me where the chute support or the chute control support bracket mounts up. So here's your chute controller. And it's supposed to go through this hole, which 
you know, provides it some support. I'll try to get a picture of that for you. And you could see on all the pictures online, it mounts roughly in this general area. And for the life of me, I could not figure out where this thing goes. So, went back to the book. And towards the back of the book, here it is, installing the chute control support bracket for the 325 and 345. Well, lo and behold, there is actually a bracket that you need. And if we look over here, uh, you can see it mounted up. See the, just note the fuel filter and the fuel line behind it's the battery. Well, let me show you on the machine where they're pointing to. So here's my fuel filter and I put a shut off valve on mine. And this also looks like a mess because I had a fire in here, so I got some melted wires. But uh, again, I'm digressing. Basically, these two holes are where that mounting bracket goes. So again, my point is I do not have uh, that bracket. And you, you need that if you're going to mount uh, your chute support up there. That's where that baby goes. So I got sick of waiting for it. I literally just made my own. I just got done working on that. Uh, but that's another necessity. I looked online briefly for it last night, but I couldn't find a part number. I said, the heck with it. I'm just going to make my own. So uh, that's kind of what you need to know to equip your John Deere 345 for a snowblower. Uh, I, the other thing I'm kind of surprised, I dug around on YouTube. I did not see any videos of any buddy actually installing you know just hooking the thing up so maybe i'll do a separate video on that that's actually very simple once you have all the right equipment i mean you should be able to do that and i mean within a half hour i guess it's a little bit easier like i said i got the panels off probably a little bit tougher without them but anyway uh that's what you need to know uh so i hope that saves someone else some other time thanks for watching